Right now, detectives from all over the city are looking for who killed two people and shot a baby in Kansas City, Kansas. And at Center High School, students and staff spent today grieving for their 16-year-old friend who was one of the victims. Lindsay Shively is live at Center High School with more. Uh, Renisha just came to the Center School District about uh, six months ago, the beginning of the school year. But you ask anybody here, and 16 year old Renisha Jones has certainly left a void with her death. A dozen counselors have been here trying to help students and staff here. Uh, friends and family just too upset to talk about this on camera, but they wrote their goodbyes to Renisha on this banner that's hanging up in the cafeteria, filled to the brim around her pictures with sentiments, rest in peace. I still can't believe it. Some of the things that they wrote on there. Because not only was Renisha vivacious, she had a huge circle of friends here. For the short time she was with us, she had an amazing impact. She was an amazing kid. And I, 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 it's, um, I feel blessed to have known her. And I, I think our whole staff does. I feel truly, truly blessed to have her been part of our lives. Renisha was killed over the weekend at her sister's apartment in Kansas City, Kansas. She was there with her eight-month-old nephew and her nephew's uh, father, 21-year-old Keith Barrett, who was also killed. That eight-month-old was shot in the leg but is going to survive. So just a few hours ago, detectives from all over Kansas City met for the first time to get uh, their briefing on this investigation and start their part of this case looking for who killed Keith Barrett and Renisha Jones. We're live in Kansas City. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.